what's going on everybody this is day 25 i don't know it's day whatever but today i am aerating the yard seeding it and fertilizing and um watering it and before i uh water i'm gonna do each zone and you know adjust it and get all the uh angles and stuff right on the sprinklers but this is what i've done so far today and read it all well, luckily i got off early enough for work day today to do this all again so using a 455 john deere again so a little aerator behind it so that's it and then I think before before I water, um, I'm going to uh, take my little wheelbarrow and go around and pick up big rocks and stuff like that too. I probably did it before I seed. Yeah, I did it before I seed. So I'll air it a little bit more and um, then go around and pick up little rocks and stuff. Well, actually, big rocks and little sticks and stuff like to pick everything up and then throw the seeds out, fertilize, and then water. That'd be it. All right. finished um picking up all the rocks then i'm getting ready to um, put the fertilizer out um i'm going with the the lesco fertilizer uh eight uh the fertilizer put down 18 20 10 like starter fertilizer so it's 18 percent nitrogen 20 percent phosphate and two percent um soluble post ash i think that's how you say it but I have uh, got a let's go sprayer, a uh, professional grade. I ain't gonna tell you uh, how much one of these costs, but you can look at it and tell it's very expensive. But um, it says on here it covers 10,000 square feet per 50 pound bag. We had put down a 50 pound bag when we was cultivating the whole yard. Um, he sprayed it, uh, Ron sprayed it lightly. So today we're gonna put down both these last two 50 pound bags. So total 100 pounds. This holds 80 pounds. So I'm gonna try to squeeze all 100 pounds in there. And it covers 20,000 square feet. My yard is 37,000 square feet, including the house. So it should be enough to cover everything. And set it on uh, the set of 16. So let's load it up and get started. Okay. 
was all the fertilizer. It's uh, my first time using this. It um, uh, got a, it got a big broadcast of uh, width what it does. It does uh, I think about six foot, seven foot, maybe maybe eight foot. Hey, um, that's a little Wayne song, but uh, yeah, that was something to do with seeds. I got uh, the Lesco brand seeds too. Two fifty pound bags as well. So this is um all pro traces tall fescue blend. Uh thirty percent uh tall fescue. I mean copious tall fescue. 36%, I'm sorry, 31% King Tall Fescue, and 31.2% of Padre 2 Tall Fescue, 0.9% uh, of other crop seeds, 1.12% of inert matter, and 0.02% weed seed. So, uh, 50 pound bag, they don't say, how thick you should spread it. I don't see it all. No. This right here, I'm just gonna, I got four 50 pound bags. I'm gonna do two 50 pound bags in the back and two each side of my house. That's a how I'm gonna judge it. And leave it on set at 16. Put it on nice and thick. Yeah, almost a full bag I figured in here. So you give me the little stem thing and go around it so you can fit a whole hundred pound bag in there. I mean fifty pound bag of seed. So this is gonna take longer than I thought. I'm not gonna record this whole me doing the whole yard, but it's going on real thick, looking like a blanket out there of seeds. But whew, a lot of breath. It worked out in a long time. That's pretty much it from start to finish of what I did um, of me uh, taking out the Bermuda, killing the Bermuda with uh, glyphosate, um, taking it up with a side cutter, um, cultivating the whole yard with a ditch switch and a cultivator attachment, um, getting the side up with a 4 one bucket, um, getting all the big rocks out with eliminator, um, doing the uh, the uh, irrigation system by hand with a little uh, spade. It's probably about maybe four inches under the ground, and that the sprinkler head is about eight inches under the ground. I did that part with a shovel, and now from going from that to putting the uh, seeds and fertilizer out. That's a full renovation of my yard. I'll keep y'all posted, updated with. Um, how the grass is growing and stuff like that. I got the water heavy, water very heavy for the first two weeks, so it can germinate and hopefully have a full luscious green fescue yard. And um, by that time, I 
when it's to get really really green dark green i want to get a drone because everybody in my neighborhood has bermuda and their bermuda grass looks very like it ain't the best looking yard so hopefully mine will be the standout yard or a pretty dark green fescue so i know my other previous videos i mentioned that i wanted to get uh pete's gci turf grass but it was too expensive i couldn't afford it for all the much stuff i had to get i couldn't afford it so maybe later on this year when i oversee i use pete's uh uh, new, new grass CD he has out. So this is oh, this is the rocks that all the rocks that I pulled out. Oh, these rocks! All oh, this is rocks and trees. On my yard. Wow. So I keep y'all posted and updated, and and that's it. And I hope y'all enjoyed this of this so many days footage of me footage of me doing this and it was like 25 days and three years of me doing this but i got it done all right till the next video peace